Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Brooke. I'm back with another grocery haul. I did venture out to the stores again today. So I went to Aldi and to Walmart. Um, there was a couple of things that I just wanted to stock up on in the pantry and the freezer. Probably could have waited, but we decided to go because we are still going to have Easter on Sunday. Um, but we're just going to do it with um, my husband's parents and his siblings we're not going to go to his grandparents house and see all of his cousins and his aunts and uncles and stuff so be much smaller and they've been like isolating like self-isolating too so we feel safe going over there so i picked up stuff from aldi and stuff from walmart what you're seeing is everything i got from aldi and then i will flip everything over and show you what i got from walmart and i'll try to include prices i spent about a hundred dollars together at both stores so let's just get started so we'll start back here i picked up um these pork chops i don't have these on the meal plan coming up so i'm just gonna freeze these and we'll use them later also got some ground turkey uh we really like these uh kielabasas. if you like slice them into thick coins and then you like slice potatoes the same way and you cook them in a pan with some butter it's really good. It's a really good dinner. Um, for Easter, I'm going to bring a veggie and dip tray. So I got some cucumbers for that. Also for Easter, I'm going to bring a strawberry pretzel salad. So I got some fresh strawberries. Um, more veggies. I got baby carrots. Probably should have got two bags of these, but I think I might have some in the fridge yet. Um, three green bell peppers. Fresh broccoli. And then I've been loving the convenience of these like steamable broccoli. It's been my favorite uh, veggie to have for dinner. And in my last haul, I picked up two of them and I ate them already. So picked up four this time. Um, I also picked up two things of cream cheese. I need these for the desserts I'm making. Um, the Aldi brand Oreos, need those for the desserts. I really like original Oreos, but I figured if I'm going to be crushing them up and using them in a dessert, I'm thinking these will be just fine. Um, some unsalted butter, because I don't have any unsalted. For a dessert I'm going to make, I needed some peanut butter. I just got some penne pasta to have on hand. I needed three of the whipped toppings for the desserts that I'm making. Um, so I got those. Thing of milk. Two of our favorite breads from Aldi, the honey wheat, and then bacon just to have on hand for breakfast. I'll just throw this in the freezer. And then a big, however many pound bag this is of potatoes, 10 pound bag of potatoes. So that is everything from Aldi. Let me get this put away and I'll show you what we picked up from Walmart as well. All right, so here is what I picked up from Walmart. I spent about $50 here as well which i just think is crazy um like how great of a deal aldi is i just feel like i got so much more stuff at aldi for the same price but there are just some things that you can't get at aldi so i picked those up from walmart uh i meant to get pretzels at aldi but i forgot so i just picked up some from walmart i love these crackers the trisket thin crisp parmesan garlic i love having these with some tuna salad for like an easy lunch or a snack um bananas some butterfingers for a dessert i'm gonna make uh ranch for the veggies needed a strawberry jello mix and a chocolate instant pudding uh, i have stuff to make enchiladas except for sauce so i picked up some enchilada sauce i have never made those before so we will see how that turns out um, I also got actual Oreos because these have been like my dessert of choice lately after dinner, well actually like later after dinner, I've been liking to have these with some milk for a dessert. I got the Thomas, um, light multigrain English muffins. These were like the only ones that they had besides... I don't know, they had like maybe an oatmeal raisin. I was hoping to have get the like white original Thomas ones. Um, because as much as I like shopping at Aldi, I don't 
think their English muffins are the best. They taste good, but they don't have like those, like all the like cracks and holes that like I expected an English muffin. Um, so I'm hoping these will be good. I really like an English muffin with butter and some jelly on it. Um, I always hear um, Tiffany over at Simple Wife, Simple Life talk about this um, Sarah Lee artisanal bread. Um, she always makes her husband sandwiches on this and it's like really soft and I kind of squished it in the um, car on the ride home. So I think it'll still be okay though. So hoping that'll be good. Um, for breakfast before work, I like some blueberry waffles. So I got those. These potato wedges from Great Value are really, really good. They're like similar to KFCs, I would say. They're just much like the KFC ones, you know, are like really long. These are like small. And we were actually planning on making bacon cheeseburgers for dinner tonight, but it was already like six o'clock by the time I got done shopping and I was really hungry. So we just stopped and went through the drive through at Wendy's. So we either have those for dinner tomorrow night or lunch tomorrow. So it'll all be just fine. Now we can have some wedges with them. Um, I love fresh grated Parmesan cheese. So I picked up another, I guess this is what, like a wedge. And then the last thing I got was another big bag of cheddar. Um, how much cups is this? Eight cups. So I will divide this up into a couple different bags and then put it in the freezer. So that is everything I picked up from Walmart and from Aldi. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy while we are stuck at home. Or I guess we should change our mindsets and say that we are safe at home. Uh, I know I've been getting a little bit stir crazy. Thanks, honey. <laughs> uh, especially um, having to work from home. I think it's been three weeks that I've been working from home now and um, just who knows how much longer it'll be but nonetheless um, grateful to be healthy and to have a home to stay safe in. So um, that's everything I picked up this week. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you enjoy videos like this and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!